Hey, what's up, Scott Balkin here with Imagination Creation Films, and today, well, we're talking about Red V-Raptor XL. So with an impending cloud of new camera releases coming in the next couple of weeks, from Sony, Airy, and Blackmagic, Jared Land from Red appears to have taken a bit of win from the sales of these three by not only announcing the V-Raptor, which well, I've talked about at great detail in my previous videos, but then announcing the V-Raptor XL in the live stream. And then today, well, he released some of the drawings of the XL and pretty much everything that it has to offer. And today, like we'll do with all the other camera releases when they come out, we're gonna take a look at what we see in the drawings, pictures, photos, releases, specs, all of that. Let's take a look at the Raptor XL. So, subscribe? Yeah. First, we get a look at the side and we see that we're dealing with a slightly larger version of the V Raptor, similar in size, but slightly smaller than the Ranger. But we're gonna see a ton of Ranger in this design and well, rightly so, because Ranger has become a seriously useful camera. And well, it basically has every bell and whistle available all in one single chassis. So we see the similar V Raptor screen and button layout with the power switch and the record buttons all seemingly in the same place. But this is where the fun starts. To the right, we see multiple 24 volt power that, well, on the front, you can see, um, well, this kind of makes it the same design as we have from Ranger with a higher voltage bus inside, making for a little more efficient use of power. We see an airy rosette on the front, again, similar to the Ranger, which made for an easy shoulder mount option as needed. And then towards the back, well, we're starting to see some cool ports. We see multiple aux ports, a control port, a time code port, a gig E, which is gigabit ethernet, and the audio port like we had before, and the headphone jack. Lots of useful ports there. But keep going back, and now we see a USB-C and three SDI ports, presumably 12G, but three. We got gin lock, and we have a power plug. And we also see an unobstructed V-mount in the back. Now, presumably gold mount will be available as well. There's no reason to think Red wouldn't offer it, so relax. So now you can use your full-size batteries and not have to use the micros. Moving to the front, we see those two 24-volt power taps, and we notice a removable lens mount, something that so many wish that V-Raptor had. It's there. What are the options? Well, the sky's the limit, up to and including all the way back. Um, I mean, it's it's a much closer connection, so we'll see some some new and exciting offerings. But we also see two ports on the top right. We'll get into those in just one second, but you'll like it. Moving on to the other side, well, we see the familiar rear end and and the media port, and then it gets exciting. Besides the obvious airy rosette, we see an internal ND with up, down, and clear buttons. Presumably, this is a carousel version of ND and not a variable, but it's an electronic ND, as we're being told. There's something cool, and it's built in. Yep. There's also some quick buttons for you to assign to whatever function you like, and then there is those two ports on top, which are an EVF, SDI, and power right in the front. Now, it's not quite as elegant as the wireless EVF that Red had before, but it will allow you to choose the EVF you want. Once again, Red taking a step back and letting others design things that they know well and letting Red design the things that they know well. Now, on another note, Jared mentioned the extreme difficulty with supply chains and, well, Komodo. And they're jumping through some serious hoops to get these built and shipped out. And more and more hoops that they're jumping through, the higher their costs are, well, going up. And they're not ruling out a price increase to cover these costs. So be prepared, folks. The supply chain struggle is very real for all manufacturers. It's unreasonable to complain about price increases due to supply chain. I, I know they stink, but they are a fact of life right now in this global climate. And so, I mean, I get it. The, those cries will unfortunately be falling off deaf ears across the entire globe, no matter what business it is. Businesses have to stay in business. Plus, considering people are scalping Komodos and now V-Raptors, it's, 
It's not unreasonable for the market to entertain a higher price. After all, this is one of the best-selling, if not the best-selling camera Red has ever made. And the orders and, well, subsequent back orders are still very strong. So, yeah, stay tuned for more details as they come in about Red, Sony, Aerie, Blackmagic, and, well, any of the others. I'm, I'm here to provide clear, concise news, tips, tricks, learning, opinions, and, well, everything else filmmaking because, well, that's what I do. And, wow, what a time it is to be a filmmaker with camera choices. Some other choices, it's not so much a good time to be a filmmaker. So what do you think about the V-Raptor XL? Is it everything that you wanted? I know people had a long laundry list of things that they wanted. Put it in the comment section down below what you thought about. What do you think it's missing? What are you happy most about? Let me know. Uh, and if you have any other questions, put those in the comments down below. I try to read and respond to each and every one. It was just to say thank you. Remember to support me with any of the links down below. I really do appreciate it. Please do. Um, remember to subscribe, like button, share it, all the good stuffs because... Yeah. And as I always like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life. Let your life center around your passions. Mm -hmm.